This is National 5 exam practice homework. What we're doing here is we're looking at question 3 from Standard Grade Credit 2009, paper 2. So it's a calculator paper that we're on here. Right, we've got to solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, and give your answers correct to one decimal place. So this part here that's bolded, that should give me a bit of a clue to what I have to do with this here. I won't be able to put that into two brackets and factorise it from there. Um, that'd be quite difficult. What, I, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to look at the formula list and see if there's a, there's a formula that I can use for working out this here. And there is. Okay. The formula that we're going to use is to find out what x is. It's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute some values in where the letters are here. And let's look at what the, the values that I'm going to substitute in. Right, so a is going to be equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is equal to 1. b is equal to the coefficient of x, which is minus 4. And c is going to be equal to minus 6. Remember the signs that go along with this as well. So these values here, I'm going to be chucking them in there and trying to work things through. Okay, so that's a minus b, so minus, and that's minus 4, and it's a plus or minus, and b squared, which is minus 4, and I'll just put that in the wee bracket, squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 6. That's all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. Right, so from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work, uh, I'm going to work this bit out here and work out the part that's underneath the square root. That part's called the discriminant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these bits out just now. Right, so that's just going to give me 4. It's going to be plus or minus the square root of, that's going to give me 16. I'm going to square that. And two negatives are going to give me a positive, so that's going to be plus 24. It's all going to be divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. Right, from there, I'll work out the, the root part. So 4 plus or minus square root of, and add them together, just gives me 40, all over 2. Right, so from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into two solutions. So the first solution I'm going to take from here is going to be x is equal to 4, and I'll use the plus root 40, and I'll divide that by 2. The other solution that I'm going to take is going to be x is equal to 4 and the minus root 40, and that's going to be divided by 2 also. Right, from there, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get a value for here. And the way I'm going to put that into the calculator is I'm going to go for 4 plus root 40, close the bracket. I'm going to press the equal sign there, and that gives me 10.32. Now, still to divide it by 2, there I'm then going to divide it by 2, which equals 5.16. Okay, so I've got 5.16227766. Okay, and I have to round it to one decimal place in the answer, so just round it to one decimal place. That'll give me 5.2 on this side here. On this side here, I'll just do the, the same thing. So on the calculator, what we'll go for is we'll go for 4. 4 minus root 40, close the bracket, equals, gives me minus 2.32, divide that by 2, and that equals, I've got minus 1.16227766, and if I round that to one decimal place, that'll be minus 1.2. Okay, and that's, that's going to be the question completed there. So there's a couple of places to watch out for in this type of question. Uh, one of the places would be when we've got a negative here for B. Make sure you watch out for what happens here. You've got two negatives, so it becomes a positive. If I look in here where the discriminant is, sometimes what you can do if you get your signs incorrect there, you might get that to work out to be a negative number. And for, for these, we can't really take a, the, the square root of a negative number at this stage. And the other part there, when I was telling you what I was doing in the calculator, this here can be a bit of a problem. So be careful with what you do when you get down to this stage here. Make sure you work out the top line, then divide it by 2. Don't just fire in your calculator 4 plus root 40 divided by 2 give you the wrong answer. 
Right, let's see how it's marked. One mark for uh, substitution into the quadratic equation, or the quadratic formula. We'll get uh, one mark for working out the discriminant, that be number there that's inside the, the root. And we'll go for one mark would be given for getting these two answers, and one mark for rounding it correctly there. Now, there's another way of getting the marks for this question here. If you only got uh, one answer and you came down here and only got that answer, well, the answers could be given for these two here. So that would be one mark there and another mark if you did get it over here. So if you get one of them wrong, you can still mark it vertically rather than horizontally. So the marks here, one, two, three, four, out of four marks.